You're right here, right here, the Philippines love team, nation, and family, and you. One nation, under, we, under. Hello, my friends. This is Bobby D coming to you live from Talon Bon, Simple Philippines. I'm having an awesome time in the Philippines today. Hope you are as well. Well, if I hate a day, I want to talk to you about five. Five. Oh, Lord. Been a busy, busy morning. Five male personality types to remember always. Energy. Prince. Five, baby. Five male personality types to remember always in the Philippines. Yeah, what a joy. Such a joy it is to come back to again, my friends. And if I want to say those of you here for the first time, if you would please, click on that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you continue receiving fresh, new Philippine videos, motivational videos, and worldwide videos. Now, when you talk about males, mm -hmm. Of the human species, mm -hmm. males, men, men, you know, macho, I'm a macho, macho, my, you know what I'm saying, males. Mm -hmm. A lot of times you can uh, generalize that there are cert certain types of males based on their characteristics. And the ancient Greeks have made it a little bit more simpler for us. They have uh, a certain uh, a level of characterizing male personality types. And so today, we're going to see what the Greeks said about males. Mm -hmm. And does it apply to today's society? Ancient Greek standards, does it apply to today's society? So I got five. Now, the Greeks have more than five male personality types, but I'm only going to deal with five of them, okay? It's like, uh, last time I checked, it was like 11 or 12 of them, but I only picked up five, okay? You with me, G? Let go. We ain't gonna be long. I know not a lot of y'all out there tonight. Y'all ready? Ready to hit the bed? You know, get your Z's. I understand, man. You know, I like to get mine, too. I don't want to be disturbed when I'm asleep. Don't mess with me when I'm asleep. I understand. So, I'm not gonna be long. I'm not gonna keep you long. Today is a Sunday morning in the Philippines, and it is Saturday night. Some of y'all just got through coming back from the club. The club, I know. Some of y'all get ready to go to the club. I know. <laughs> I know, man. But, you know, hey, life goes on. I got to do my thing. This is my thing. If you ready to partake of it, let's go. Okay, here we go. So uh, uh, I don't have a focus sheet per se, but I'll give you a verbal focus. We're going to talk about five male Greek that the Greeks identified as personality types. And as we go through this today, you perhaps it may be possible that maybe you may see your some some traits of you in these characteristics that we talk about today. And if you do, uh, more power to you. You know that's I, I always believe in self what awareness. I always believe in how how much you can understand who you are, where you are, why you are where you are, and what you are supposed to be about doing for yourself in this earth, in this life. You know, you know. Self, self definition, self purpose, and, and defining who you are is a lifelong journey. It never stops. And, and you know why it never stops? Because people never stop changing. Whenever you stop changing and rearranging yourself, that's when you did. Yeah, you have no life. And, and the last time I checked, the Bible said, let the dead bury the dead. You know, I don't know about you, I don't want to be around nobody dead. Mm -mm, I'm big. <laughs> like, what? Get out. Feet don't fail me now. Be I'm going to run. <laughs> you know, I, I want to be around people that's life, full of life and, and personality and charm and, and caring and sharing. That's what life is about. You know, I, 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 so I, I always try to find out where I am in this world, what I'm about now. And, you know, as we go through this life, we change, you know? So, but we have to understand and we have to identify, it helps to identify what are some of your basic personality traits? What are some of your basic characteristics as, as it pertains to your living, as it pertains to your life and lifestyle in this world? Okay, so we got five for you today. Okay, you with me, man? Let's go. I ain't gonna be long, man. You know me, man. I don't keep you long. You know what I'm saying? I don't keep you long unless you want to get strong with me. If you want to get strong, we're going to stay long. You want to be weak? A lot of y'all just want to be, let me go, man. I'm going to be myself. <laughs> but if you hang around me, you're going to grow up. Mm -hmm. 
I, you're not gonna blow up because I'm not. I'm. I don't. I don't leave nobody behind. You don't blow up on this show, and you're not gonna blow up if you ride the train with me a lot, okay? Because I give it to you right tight, long and short. And you know, I always find different topics that meet some of your needs. It may be uh, one topic this time, and you might didn't catch that. But the topic you here for tonight is probably something you need to get. I firmly believe that whenever I come on this ear and people there be the select few people do attend. This is for you, okay? Something, something here is for you. It, the destiny said this is for you. Destiny said that you were just, just supposed to be here tonight to get something. It may be uh, one word. I don't know, you know. But this is for you, okay? Let's go. All right. So uh, when you talk about the Greek topics, uh, Greek uh, personality types, usually they simplify it and just like I think it's eleven or twelve of them, but they simplify it and give you five. So the first one, let's look at the thumbnail for the day. Thumbnail for the day. Thumbnail for the day. Let's go. Here we go. That's it right there. That man right there. Who's that man? Who's that man? That's uh, Craig, Craig James, man. You remember 007? Yeah. He's a, he's one of the uh, characteristics of, a, of a, one of the Greek characteristics of a male personality. Yeah. He's a very, very strong man. Very dominant in everything he does. That's why they call him 007. You've seen the movies. You've seen the James Bond movies. He's smooth, man. He's cool. But he could be deadly when he wants to be. You know what I'm saying? He's manipulative. He's creative. He's everything wrapped up in one. He's a leader, male personnel. And you see the man behind him. That's another, another him. And then you see the lady, lady watching him. <laughs> because these ladies are attracted to people like uh, Craig James and 007 type mentality and personality. Okay. So let's look. Uh, number one, first thing. Number one, first personality. Okay. And I guess you already guessed this. Alpha baby. Yeah. Alpha male. There, these personalities are linked to the Greek alphabets. Okay, so the first one is alpha because alpha is what the beginning of the Greek alphabet. The first letter, alpha, alpha male. Okay, now what's the alpha? Alpha is first, man. That means he's confident. He's a leader. He he's an extrovert. You know, he always had to be outside. You don't want to be uh, cooped up in no office. He, he want to be around people. He, he hate being alone. He always want to be in the pack. If this was a dog pack, he'd be the leader of the pack. You know what I'm saying? He'd be out front and let, he'd be saying, let's go, guys. Come on, let's go. Uh -huh. No, you're not going to lay down and play with me today. Let's go. <laughs> he has a let's go mentality, you know? And I'm sort of like that. And as you as we go through this today, guys, you're going to find that sometimes you can't pinpoint, pinhole or a cubbyhole or pinhole yourself in each in particular one. You may have a combination of characteristics. You may have an alpha male, you know, etc. You may you may find that you have a combination. You know, I I know I'm an alpha. I know that one. I I, I just know that one. Okay, <laughs> that's one of it. But that's not my only one. I've got several in here, and I, I just found it out tonight. I thought I was always just an alpha, but now. When you go through this, you're going to find out it's more than one. You, you identify with more than one characteristic. All right. So alpha male. That's what we got. Alpha male. Okay. Next one. Uh, alpha male. Oh, I forgot to read this. Let's talk about a little bit more. Five five male personality types to remember always. Okay. First one is alpha male. He's confident. He's a leader. He's extrovert. extrovert. He hates to be alone. The alpha male personality type goes with uh, the alias bad boy. Sometimes he can be a bad boy, man. You know, bad boys, girls, some girls are attracted to bad boy alphas, you know, and, and alpha males are usually the men who need their men to be men. You know, in other words, if you if you hang with an alpha male, you better go up. That's what I would tell y'all, man. Stop blowing up and start growing up. I don't need no boy, baby boy around me. I don't need no mama boy around me. I need you to grow up. I need you to grow the age up. Stop playing games out there. Grow up. Walk like a man, be talk like a man, act like a man, be like a man, sleep like a man, eat like a, be a man. Huh? Stop being a boy. That's what I am. And alpha male want them, they want people around them that's uh, mature, that's able to be a man and macho again kind of guy. I don't necessarily want you to be a macho guy, but I want you to be confident in who you are, and I want you to to aware, be aware of your maturity and be into your what manhood. Ride in your manhood, walk in your manhood, talk in your manhood, believe in your manhood, eat in your man, and sleep in your man. Be a man. Hmm? That's what the alpha male stands for, man. He's not about playing no games. He's about leader, being a leader, and a leader 
is a reader and a leader is above all an extrovert. He has to be sociable. He has to get along with others. That's what an alpha male. And most women are attracted to what? Alpha males. Hmm? Yeah. Because you know why? Alpha male out the front. And, and when, when people, women like people that take charge. And alpha males take charge. They take the lead. Most other males follow the alpha male. If you, if you consider this as a uh, compared to a, a pack of animals, a pack of dogs, for example, this is a crude example. The, the leader of the pack, he says, whoop, whoop, and we <laughs> get up and gone, we gone, y'all. Alpha male has that same type effect. He leads and people follow, okay? And what happens is sometimes the alpha male, ha, ha, if you're in, in a dog pack, the alpha male has a challenge a lot. You know, some of the young bucks, young dogs come up there, you get challenged, and then it's a dog fight, you know, it's a fight. You know? So alpha males uh, continue to be alpha male as long as they can lead, as long as they can stay strong and, and lead the pack. And people have confidence in alpha males. I have a lot of people that confidence in me. You know why? Because I show them that I can do what I say I'm going to do, and I do it consistently. Alpha males are consistent, and they uh, have a uh, what I call an overview on life. They just don't look at one thing. Alpha males are servant people as well. Why are they serving people? Because they serve others. They lead. Anytime you have a good leader, my guys, he's always a servant as well. A leader has to serve others in order to uh, inspire them to follow him. He has to say that, hey, I'm going to help you get where you got to go. Let's go, man. You can do better than this. Let's get up. Get up. Let's go. I got you, man. That's what an alpha male, that's what a leader does. He helps people to reach their highest and most noblest potential in this life. Okay, that's what I do, man. That's my life journey right there to reach one, teach one, and to help you, man, in some kind of way. Ladies and gentlemen, I try to help you. You know, if you don't get nothing else from me, Lord have mercy. Believe me, I try my best to give you some type of nuggets that might help you just a little bit along this journey we call life. You with me? Alpha male. Let's go. Number two, don't know what to do, what to do. Alpha male. Are we going to talk about beta, baby? Yeah, it's a number two. Beta. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's the number two. Uh, collaborative. They're introverts. They're sensitive. And, and they're, they're sensitive guys. They take criticism well, and they're idealistic. They don't look at reality that much. They Their head is always in the cloud, and they want the best and you know, ideal. You know, they, they don't really, they don't focus on the reality of life, and that's why they miss the boat. And that's why they, most of the beta males are followers. Most of the beta males are, are suckers. I'm be honest with you, man. They suckers. They fall for anything. You know, see right here, they begging the lady, please, baby, please. Don't go. He's doing the James Brown. Baby, please don't go. Baby, please don't go. Don't go. Oh, oh, I love you so. Baby, please don't go. That's the worst song James Brown could have ever put on this planet we call her. Don't beg no woman. They got to go. Let them go. Huh? You're not good enough for them. Let them try to find somebody. Give them the opportunity to try to find somebody else. And if you know you've been taking care of business, you can say, hey, too little. I, I don't need you in my life. You don't, you can't appreciate what you got. Go and try and see the grass is green on us. Let them go, man. I'm trying to female, trying to pull a, uh, uh, I'm gonna leave you. Okay. Bye. Don't don't fall for the okie doke. Let them go. Let them walk. And you stand your ground. Okay. That's that's what a real man do. But the, sadly, sadly, my guys, these people like this right here. Beta males, they get on their knees. They, Baby, please don't go. I'm begging you, please don't go. Don't go. And you, they didn't, you know what happens? She said, okay, I'm going to stay. But if I'm staying, you're going to give me. I want me. I don't want no $500 a month. I want 1000 from now on. Okay. So they use you to the max. They say, okay, whatever you want. I Fools. I mean, I don't, I don't mean all of them are like that. But vast majority of beta males are followers and they are soft people who will fall for a lot of mis craziness. Okay, your average Mr. Nice Guy, that's what it is, you know, Mr. Nice Guy, uh, is the perfect beta male. He's quiet, moderate, he's quiet, moderate in his approach to life, and his nice guy personality gets him by. He gets taken for a ride. You know, they, they take these guys for a ride. There's a lot of Mr. Nice Guys out there. You know, I like to be nice, but 
if nice is don't apply in the situation, I'm not gonna be nice. I'm gonna rock, I'm gonna rock the boat. I'm gonna say, what your problem is? What your problem is, sir? What your I'm gonna say, lady, what your problem? You know, I'm gonna call you out. That's what I do. But Mr. Beta Mills don't do that. They don't want to rock the boat. They don't want nobody to think they such a bad guy. They want to be Mr. Goody Two Shoes. I'm not the one. Okay. They're definitely more sensitive and less aggressive than an alpha male and a lot more grounded. They take criticism well and show better collaborative skills. They want to be everybody's friend. That's what they want to be. You cannot be everybody's friend, Mr. Beta Male. Don't come around with me talking about, I mean, you know, I'm trying to give me some friends and I don't want to do nothing wrong. I don't want to say nothing wrong. And I just want to be some friends. You ain't going to, you ain't going to last long like that because everybody's going to look at you and say, he's just a doormat. You know what a doormat is, right? A doormat is what people do to walk all over you and wipe their feet on you and dirty you up. Mm -hmm. And that's what happens when you want to be everybody's friend. People use you and abuse you and, and call you a fool behind your back. Stop being a fool. Stop being a used, an abused individual. Let the beta male go. Learn to be an alpha male. You can learn to be an alpha male. You can learn to be somebody else. You can learn to grow out of that uh, being used and abused mentality, playing the victim all the time. You ain't got to beg no woman. Hmm? You ain't got to beg nobody. If you're not good enough for them to stay with you, let them go. Call their bluff. A lot of time when women tell you I'm gonna leave you, it's just a bluff anyway. Huh? That's a lot of time. I'm gonna leave you, you one more time, Johnny. You, you, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna leave you. And, 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 and sometimes they try to stay like they get ready to go. They pack their bag, they cry, <laughs> and they and they get, get ready to put the last shoe in the bag. And you say, please, please don't go. And that's all they want to do. Is, okay, I'm, I'm not going. <laughs> they pack, <laughs> they had to pack the bag. That was a bluff. They calling you a bluff. I said, you fell for it. That's what beta males do. They are very, very gullible. They believe everyone, and they, they, are, they fall for the tricks and traps of females, okay? I'm not the one. Mm -mm, nah, don't play me. Don't play no game with me, because I'm going to find out if you're playing me. And when I find out you're playing me, I'm going to play you. Hmm? Yeah, I'm going to play you like a like a fiddle, baby. I'm going to play you. All over, and I'm going to pay you, too, to get up out of my life. <laughs> All right. Uh, next one we got is the uh, gamma male, okay? Gamma male is adventurous, fun-loving, restless, sensitive towards the opposite sex. These kinds of guys are decent, but they like to go a lot. You, they don't, you don't find a, a gamma male sitting around now. He can't sit around and do nothing. He always got to be out and about. If he, if he ain't riding a horse, he on a boat, he's skiing, he's swimming. He's always got to do, most of them are outdoorsman type guys. They always got to be doing something and they're restless. They don't they can't sit down for long and they do well. These type of guys do well in outdoor jobs, jobs that handle, uh, that they have to deal with their hands and digging and all that kind of stuff. These kind of job guys are like that. Gamma males have love, uh, ha gamma males love having fun, but don't shrug off their responsibilities at the same time. They're definitely adventurous, fun-loving, and tend to get very restless if they're left idle for long, too long. It's possible an alpha male might mature into a gamma male because gamma males are a more refined version of them. Mm, I don't think so. Uh, they're sensitive towards the opposite sex. So they're very sensitive towards women. There's nothing wrong with being sensitive to women. Women need sensitivity. And if you, you know, you're an alpha male and you don't have a sensitivity towards women, you, uh, women ain't going to flock to you, okay? So you have to have a certain amount, a certain medium of sensitivity to the female sex, okay? You with me? They don't, right. So they're sensitive towards the opposite sex and are very, very aware of their needs and, na and nature of what women truly want. And they do anything in their power to fulfill their partner's needs, okay? Women are lucky to have a gamma male in their life. Okay, he's sort of a fool pushover too. <laughs> I'm just playing. Nah, he he's sort of a uh, he's sort of a beta male, but he's not quite. Beta males are the true pushover. So I'm going as I go through these, you'll be seeing some of this might identify you might identify with some of them. Some of them you might not. You know, I know one that I've already identified, and that's the alpha male. And I'm sure in parts, but that's not all of me. And I'll I'll show you some other sides of me as we go. We got a couple more. And we out, man. We out. We ain't playing with y'all. Let's go. Number okay. Oh, number four, Omega. Hmm? Yeah, that's it. Omega, man. He look. Does he look like he got some stuff on his mind? That's cause he do. <laughs> 
He got that go over power smile, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, sort of. <laughs> He's a nerd, man. Most Omegas are nerdy kind of people, you know? He has really nerdy habits. Like, he may be a collector of something like coins, comic books, insects, or even video games. You know, most, most Omega males probably have video games out the yin-yang, you know what I'm saying? That's all they do. Intelligent, and they're difficult to please because they like to have their way. These guys are selfish. They want to stay in their own world, and, and they a sort of time times could be loners. Okay, uh, but they're highly, uh, they're highly laid back. They lay back and they lazy. All they want to do is be in their own escape, escape from reality and get in their game world and do their little thing. They're immature, they're irresponsible, and they lack ambition. They don't want to do nothing but what they want to do. Okay, that's these kind of guys. And it's a lot of these guys out there. They got the ability to do more, to look for more, to go for more, to be for more. But they just want to be, they're just happy with what they're doing. They don't want to, they got the intelligence to do other things, you know, because most, most nerds are really smart people, most of them. And, and they don't have the ambition to do better than what they're doing, you know. So I, I don't want to be Omega. No, don't put me in that. <laughs> you know, as I look back at all of these categories of male, I realize that I'm a little bit, of some of all of them but my dominant category is the alpha okay that's just because I, I that's who i am i know i know that most of the characteristics and traits in that that category are for me okay now uh last one we have last one okay sigma you know remember house man and you i played house sigma he was a sigma okay and why is he a sigma baby why i don't know what you mean what you mean sigma man baby sigma man they're private they think out of the box that means they're intelligent because they're creative, right? When anybody thinks out of the box, they're what? Creative, man. He's creative, he's confident, he's calm, and he's mysterious. Because you never know what think what we was on his mind. He would come up with some crazy stuff on that show. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you didn't know. It was, it was hard to figure him out on that show. Okay, you are a Sigma male if you have all of the characteristics of all of them, but you hate authority. In leadership, now, that's a house wars. He he always bucked authority. He always bucked leadership, and every time he turned around, they were trying to fire him or suspend him. Sigma men play uh, their own rule by their own rules and do not care what others think of them. That's how he was independent. He was like a a, a loner, but a, a, a maverick. You know what I'm saying? On doing his own thing. Uh, it is not a bad thing to be a lone wolf. Sigma is a given name to men who are self assured and independent. And it does not carry any negative meaning, okay? So uh, that's it, man. I, I want you to know that we were discussing this on another broadcast about the types of males out there. And somebody said, Bob D, I said, yeah. I said, you're a sigma male. I know he said, you're an alpha male. I said, yeah, I know. <laughs> Me the alpha male all my life. You know, some of these things you're born with, okay? You, you just, just, just what you are. And then some of these things, some of these characteristics, some of these traits can be what? Learned. Okay, you can learn to get. You no, know, I've learned. I was born with a lot of alpha male, and some of the alpha male traits I have were taught to me by my people, my upbringing, my mama, my you know people in my life taught me to be strong and to be a leader. You know, and so a lot of it you're born with, and then a lot of it you learn it. You know, as you grow and as you grow. So just because you're a sigma, or just because you're one of the others, don't mean you can't move into another category. It's a learned experience, and a lot of times if you have a what a mentor in your life, and I've had a lot of mentors in my life, good mentors, people that showed me the way. Uh, they didn't throw me away; they showed me away. But you have, in order to get be have a good mentor, you have to be a good student. You have to have the desire to learn and not burn. I always had to. I've always had a learning uh, uh, yearning for learning in my life, and so when I saw somebody, I said, "Hey, man." Can you help me? How do you do that, man? I want to get like you. I, I, and, I, and when people, when you come to people honest and you you, you bear out your soul to them, say, man, I'm trying. I want to move. I, I, show me, please. People will help you, man. And I've had a lot of people help me in my life. Okay. And so I, I'm a little bit of some of all of these things. But my most dominant characteristic is the alpha because I know how to lead and I, I know how to serve. More importantly, because as, as I told you before, a leader must be a good leader. Let me put it like that. 
A good leader must be a good what? Servant first. You must know how to serve first in order to lead. That's just the way life is, okay? If you think I'm lying, look in the Bible. Look at Jesus. Mm -hmm. He was a leader, right? But he was a servant as well. So that's the model that every good leader should have, serving others, leading them, helping them develop and go. And as you lead and help others and develop them, you are helping yourself grow. And we all go up to heaven on a little road boat. Clap hands. <laughs> I don't remember that song. Uh, anyway, let's go. Two, three, six, nine. The goose drank wine. The monkey drank the back on the street car line. The lion broke. The monkey got choked. And they all went to heaven and the little rope go clap and clap. <laughs> all right, I, 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 all right, let's go. Uh, but that's it, man. Uh, um, one other, one other thing. I wanted to show you that this chart right here. This shows you that the percentage of alpha, sigmas, beta, gammas, they are uh, that has been projected to be in the world or society at large. 24% of the males are normally, and so you see alpha at the top of the what? This pyramid, okay? 24% of males are alpha, okay? 6% of males are sigma. 26% of males are beta. And 34% are gamma. And 10% are omegas, okay? So what are you? My question is, what are you on the on that chart? Where are you? Are you at the bottom? Are you an omega? Are you a gamma? Are you a beta? Are you a sigma? Or are you an alpha? Now, does it mean that alpha is the best of them all? Not necessarily so. Because it's bad alphas and it's good alphas. You know, it just depends on how you use your God-given talents, gifts and talents to move yourself through this life. Okay. So I'm hope I'm praying that I can use my skills to help and better people in this life versus uh, using my skills to take advantage and use and abuse people. That's not the way that we should go. We should be helpful at every opportunity to lead and teach people the right way. And that's how I use my alpha skills in the right way, the tight way, the long way and the strong way. All right. That's it for now. We'll ride the train and find out who we got on this train today. Are you with me? Let's go. People get ready. Whether well, the train is coming, don't be no ticket. Ah, it just get tumble. All you need is love. Who say it again? Say sweet, sweet love. Don't need, don't need no ticket. Ah, you just get tumble. Get tumble. Ah, I got a red ride train by the least one nation group one love. Who we got? I got to find out who's on this train, who's rubbing up, tubbing up, buffed up enough to be the first man in the his house. Who that say they can't beat them? Say, who don't say they going to beat them? Say, hey, man, I did a video earlier this morning. Many of you were probably sleeping in the bed or whatever. I don't know. But I, I got up early. Uh, I did a video, a live stream this morning. Uh, John Thomas was there and Liam was there. I only had two people. But I showed you all that we're having work done on the roof. And the guys completed now. I showed you all how our roof was situated. I showed you the design. I showed you from the roof how we could see all throughout the bull. I showed you the, the mountains, mountainous scenery, and that we're situated in a mountainous area. We're not on the top of a mountain, but we've got mountains surrounding our whole uh, our area. You know? And so when you have mountains and trees and shrubbery, that contributes to your environment being having what cleaner air. Yeah. So if you plan on moving out to the Philippines, try to find a location that's got a lot of trees and shrubbery growing and stuff like that, because your air quality is going to be much what better. Remember, plants generate oxygen, right? All right, All right let's go. Uh, but uh, we got to find out who rubbing up, toughing up, buffed up enough to be the first man in the his house. Who that say they gonna be done that? When I say two two, you say all of two 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 two. When I say all aboard, you say to, to all aboard, all aboard. Let's ride this train. Y'all ready, man? Come on, man. Y'all ready? Are you ready for the roll call, man? I'm ready, man. Let's go. When I said, no, nah, I just said that. <laughs> All right, I got a man who rode up, told me I buffed up and be the first man in there. He said, who that say they're going to beat them? I need to know, man. And, and Quine Brown wants to know who that. All right, we got. What's up, Barkel? How Barkel? 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 What's up, Barkel? You good, man? He said, What's up? 
We good, man. We good, man. I hope you're doing the same. Mark Hill is the first man in the house today. He kicked the son of my mom in today, and he kicked it down to the ground. That's how you do, man. That's what an alpha male does. You know, an alpha male says, look, I'm first, and nobody going to take my spot. <laughs> and if you try to take my spot, I'm going to put you down to the ground. <laughs> Respect me. <laughs> Don't disrespect. Yeah, you know, but that's what an alpha male does. They always trying to get up. They don't want to get down. They want to get up. They want to be the lead. They want to be the head and not the tail. Okay? I'm like that. And you know, anything that's good, I want to be up there. I don't want to be to the bottom. I want to be at the top. Close as I can get to the top. You know? And if I could be first, hey, man, that's that's, that's cherry. Icing on the cherry. On the cake. Cherry and icing on the cake. You know what I'm saying? But look, hey, hey, man, Mark Hill, so good to see you riding the train. Mark Hill did a good show for us last Friday, man. He had, he turned the mother out. <laughs> you know what they said on the song? Turn this mother out. <laughs> he turned the mother out. Okay. And it was a good show, man. We got a lot of questions. We had a lot of questions. He was only supposed to be there for like 10, 15 minutes. He took the whole show. <laughs> and I ain't mad at him because I want that to happen. If we have to take the whole show to answer questions, to get information out, let's do it. So be it. You know? I'm not mad at you, man. I'm glad at you, okay? That's what I do. Because when you're trying to help people in this world, you do whatever it takes. If apparently there was a need for that because there was a seed for that. I'm going to say that again. Apparently there was a need for that because there was a seed for that. And how do you know whether the seed for that? Because people ask questions. That's the seed. And the need is supplying and, and answering the seed, okay? Uh, giving the question, answering the question, that's fulfilling the need of the seed. I'm not messing y'all up now. Y'all ain't no way. <laughs> Think, if you play this over again, you'll get it. Okay? Well, good to see you, Markel. Y'all check out the show, Markel TV, the podcast. <laughs> Let's go, around, right, Chase. Uh, well, got in the house, got in the house. Woo, got in the house, got in the house. Woo, what's up, Gunner, man? You say, hello, Bobby. What's up, Gunner? Go, hang out. The original gold finger, gold member on this train today. And I got to give up much respect, much love to Murphy. Hey, man, you talking about an alpha male, and, and he's a, he's an alpha all the way. But sometimes he got a little bit of some others in it. But I'm like, <laughs> I can tell you, know, I, you know, y'all know I have a spirit of discernment. Okay, if you don't know, you better ask somebody. I got the spirit of discernment. I know a lot about Murphy. He ain't even got to say one word. I know a lot about Mark. He ain't got to say. When I see you on this show, if you've been on this show like once or twice. Or, Three or four times, I know I got I got everything on. Okay, I got it. Some things you told me, but some things you didn't tell me, and I know it anyway. Okay, because I can. I right, well, I don't. I don't I'm, I'm not gonna get all deep into that. But let, suffice it to say, if you understand spiritually what the spirit of discernment is, then you know I got that gift. Those are just one or some of the gifts that I have been given by the Most High God. So I can discern things when you ain't got to say one word. Okay. But Murphy, you're a good man. So good to see you. But you know what, man? <laughs> I love you, my brother. But you know what I got to tell you, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, number two. Judge <laughs> Wong. Sorry about that, man. Hey, Murphy, we ain't coming after you, man. We coming after that number two spot. So you hit the number two spot today, man. And whenever you hit that number two spot, expect to, to, to get the beat down. <laughs> Let's go. Roger. <laughs> Right there, everybody. What's up, man? Uh, smooth sounds in the house. Smooth sounds. Smooth sounds. He said, we number three. Hey, he's, he's happy, man. He's number three. He's usually number two. One day this week, he was number one, though. But he's usually number two and uh, or number one sometimes. But he, he hit the number three spot. He didn't. He, he waited for Murphy to hit the number two. He said, okay, that's two people. I'm going. <laughs> Good to see you, Smooth Sound. Uh, smooth is trying to get do everything he can to get itself to the Philippines. And that's all right, man. I'm with you, man. I'm pulling for you. I'm praying for you. Uh, anytime I see somebody has a goal in life and they're doing whatever they can do to get there, he has a lot of um, hindering things that was, you know, trying to block him, trying to stop him, you know, trying to clock him from getting to his dream. But you know what? Never let nothing block you, stop you, drop you, or clock you from your desire in life. Keep on keeping on. And more importantly, pray. Okay. I went up, I'm gonna tell you this story today. Uh, this happened today. 
I went, uh, okay, you know, I told y'all we did it. I had to go on the roof of our, our townhouse uh, on a building on the roof. Uh, we had a guy paint our roof because the roof wasn't, no hole, no damage, nothing. We went through ODF, no damage, no nothing, okay? But he inspected somebody else's roof, and they had damage. He said, he went to look over the door, he said, well, Jones is not damaged, but, you know, we could stand up maybe some paint so that if we have another typhoon, it won't give you, it'll be protected, okay? So he said, okay, I'm painting. Anyway, long story short, he came out today, he had bought the paint and everything. Came out today, I said, look here, Lizzie, I'm going up on the roof. She said, what? I said, you heard me. <laughs> She said, why? You gonna you gonna, you gonna talk? You gonna... I said, Dizzy, stop. I said, stop. Calm down. Do you hear what you're saying to me? I said, I'm going on the roof. And you coming up with all that negativity. Don't say that to me. Because your negativity could penetrate into my psyche. And I believe I'm gonna fall and I fall. Stop that. I said, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do, but I don't need you to be negative. I said, I need you to be faithful. I need you to pray for me that I won't make a misstep and fall. You know what I'm saying? You got to have people, whenever you do something in your life, you got to have people that back you up, okay? That stack you up, that lift you up, and not come against you. I wasn't doing nothing crazy. Yeah, I know people fall on ladders all the time, but I've been on ladders before. I painted, when in the USA, I painted my whole house by myself. On a, at a two story house on, on a ladder. I know how to get up on a ladder. Huh? And I told her that, but she, you know how, did you, ah, I said, stop it right there. Stop it right there. Calm yourself down. I'm going on that ladder. And instead of you acting a fool over there, at telling me I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna fall, don't stop that. I said, pray for me. If you can't do nothing, pray for me. And I walked up the ladder, no problem. I did the show on the, on the roof. And I came back down the ladder. No problem. You know why? I prayed. Every step I took on that ladder, every little step I took, every little step I made, I said, Lord, help this child. Help this child. And I, I said, Lord, I know you're with me. I can do all things through Christ. Every step I say, took on that ladder, and that's like walking the ladder of success. You have to take one step at a time. Don't rush up. I didn't run up the ladder. I walked up the ladder. And it was a long way up there, man. I walked up that ladder step by step, and I said, the Lord is with me. I shall not fear. He prepared the table before me in the end, before my enemy. All that stuff, I, and the Lord got me to the top. And I did the show, and as I came back down, I said the same prayers. And I, I, I said, Lord God, you're with me. Thank you for keeping me so far. Keep me till I get back on the ground. You know what I'm saying? We walk by faith. Not by faith. We walk by faith. By according to 2 Corinthians 5, 7, we walk by faith and not by what? Sight. She lost her faith in me. She lost her faith in my ability to move up the ladder successfully. Because primarily she'd never seen me go on a ladder. But I told her I have a history. I've done ladders before. Many, many times. It's simple. One foot, another foot. One foot, and as you go up, you hold the ladder. And somebody, you need somebody down to hold the ladder for you so you, the ladder won't shake and move. Okay? That's all it took. But she would, ah. I said, listen, I expect better from you. I don't expect nobody to come at the food with me when I'm trying to do something. I don't care what it is. Be strong. Be faithful. Y'all know you let fear control you. Do not let, if somebody, if you're trying to do something, man, don't let nobody's in fear be with you. If you got to cast them away out of your life, cast them out. Because that same fear that they're dealing with will jump on you if you ain't strong enough to resist it. I don't know why I had to sell that, but I had to sell it. Let's go, Ron Train, Bobby, who we got? Michael Coffin needs some. He said, Bobby, hi. My own boot, I'm going to be here. 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 I'm going to Hey, man, we're doing good, Nurse Mike. So good to see you, man. We've been missing you. We've been missing you. We've been missing you. Hey, man, so good to see you, my brother, my mother, Martha. Nurse Mike is out in California, and uh, he is a, a hospice nurse and he for COVID-19 patients. After they've done everything they can for the patients, they send them to, to Nurse Mike. And Nurse Mike holds their hands. He, he talks with them. 
He tries to reassure them that they're going to do the best for them until they leave this earth. And that's what he does. You know? And so people like that, you have to lift them up periodically in prayer because it takes a lot. It takes a toll on you. He sees people one day, the next day they gone. He said, I see tomorrow. He go back home, go home, get up in the morning. They gone. He can't eat. They gone. You know? So it's hard, man. Let's go round train by release. He one nation on the group. One look. Murphy, he said, Bobby, please don't hate me. Leave me. <laughs> said the beta male. <laughs> yeah, man. Baby, please don't go. Oh, 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 oh. I love you so, baby. Please don't go. Please don't go. Y'all remember that old song, James Brown? And then when he said, please, he dropped to his knees and then he, and he take the cape and shake the cape off and he get back up and do the slow walk. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 oh. I love you so. Yeah, that's the worst song he ever made, man. He put, he put males back a hundred years. Hmm? I think he was working with the, I don't know what he was doing, man, but <laughs> he's a sellout. He was a sellout. You know what I'm saying? Brother Jane, I love you, my brother, but that song was a sellout to the women of the world. <laughs> you, oh Lord, don't never, let me tell y'all something. Don't never beg no woman, okay? I'm serious, I'm serious. If you're a man out there and you're in a relationship and your woman try to threaten you like she gonna leave you, to look here. But how, when you going? Let go. You want me to help you that? That's how you say it. Call a bluff. Because nine of times, nine out of ten times, ain't nothing but a bluff. And you know it's a bluff. If you treating her right, tight, long, and strong, you paying the bills. You come home every night. You you taking care of your business in the bedroom. You doing what you're supposed to do. And she going to talk that stuff and leave. Let's look at And you know you're doing your stuff. So look, see the door right there? Don't let the don't <laughs> Let don't let the door knock hit you with a good large split. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> don't come back. You know? But hey, call it bluff, man. Because nine times out of ten, they play. But on the other flip side of that, if you act in a fool, hmm, some of these women shake take you to school. If you ain't paying the bills, if you're sleeping around, they have a perfect right to get up and go. Okay. But you gotta be taking care of your business. You gotta handle your business. If you know your business with your lady and your family is tight, right, long, and strong, you can call a bluff. But if you know you're messing up, you still need to straighten it up before you can say, don't go, or you can get go. You got to straighten yourself up first, okay? Let's go. Ryan Train, Bobby Lee, see One Nation. Who we got? Murphy, hey, he said, I can, I carry the bags to the curb and call it. <laughs> there you go, man. He said, I carry the bags to the curb for her. And then I call a taxi. <laughs> That's what you do, man. That's what a real man does. If you know you've been taking care of your business with that woman and that home and that family, you call family and that home, you call a home, and she going to come with some mess like that? Uh-uh, nah. I'm not the one to mess with with them kind of words. Who you think you're talking to? Get up out of here. <laughs> what you tell her. Get up out of here. How fast can you leave? You know? Call a blood. Uh -huh. Yeah, call it. And sometimes they might just leave you. So what? That's an opportunity. Opportunity. That's an opportunity for you to do what? Begin again. Mm -hmm. And you can. You won't have to choose the slut you chose the first time. And I say it's slut because it's a slut that leaves you, and you know you're doing everything for her, and she leave you anyway. She's a slut. She no good, and you ain't got no business with. Her. Let's go. Ryan Train, Bobby Lee, you want to know what up? What's up, crook mark and the high crook mark, crook mark, crook mark and the high. Woo! He said, what's up, you buddy? Hey, Amen. We blessed and highly flavored and favored of the Lord, the most high God. I mean, God was with me this morning, crook. I tell you what happened, man. I, I went up on a ladder, man. It was way up on our roof. I ain't been on a ladder. <laughs> uh, since I moved, I was up. Last time I was on a ladder in 2004, I painted my house right before I moved here, right? I painted it myself. Five D did that thing right, and it's the paint still on it. And uh, I was on the ladder for about a month, two, almost two months, because I painted when I could, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there. So I was on the I, ladders ain't nothing to me. I know what to do, but she never seen me on the ladder. Oh, ye of little faith, she had no faith in me in that particular uh, area because she'd never seen me. Are you get me now? 
I said, she had never what, seen me on her ladder. She's seen me in a lot of other things. And so because she's seen me in a lot of other things, she has faith because she's seen me do a lot of things. She never seen me get on her ladder. And because of that, she had little faith. She had no faith. Oh, ye of little faith. So I had to stop us. Look, hey, calm down. Calm down. Because that stuff you're doing right there might jump on me. And I don't need it. But I'm trying to get up a lot. No, let's go. Ron Train, who we got? Crook Barker. He said, Love Train Crew, what it do? Hey, man, we doing good. You know how we do, man. We do every little bit of step. Every step we take, every step we make. It for the higher and the better good of humanity and the most high God. Let's go. Ron Train, Bobby Lacey, what's up? What's up? Smooth sound. What's up, Smooth? You good? He said, Prime example of a bad alpha male. Joe Jackson, Michael Jackson. Yeah, man. Joe was a bad, he was a bad dad. And from what I'm hearing and what I've, some things I've seen in the news, he was a bad husband as well. He played around on his, his wife, you know? And he, he would beat the kids from all reports. He would beat Michael and his other brothers. I don't know about the girls. I ain't never heard of, no reports of him beating the girls, but I heard a lot of reports uh, that he be, would beat the boys and he would beat them to sing and they messed up a note. He tear them up till they get the note right. All kind of crazy stuff, man. But you know, uh, an alpha male should be a blessing. Mm -hmm. He should be a blessing to others that he's in the family with and a blessing he's in the, who's ever in his little circle, he should be a blessing to help those people. That's what God gives you these abilities for. Yeah. Alpha male have a tremendous amount of what? Leadership. Joe had a leadership. You know, he, he, he raised his family to be successful. Well, uh, you know, it was just him and his wife. They were poor people. But he had he, he, he went astray with his leadership ability. He went to the crazy side, you know? He took it overboard. He didn't have to beat his son to make them say. It's, you could talk to him. You, know, you get more out of people with honey than, than, uh, than uh, bitterness, you know? So, yeah, uh, but Joe's gone now. God bless his soul. I hope he went to the right place. You know, it's, you go up or you go down when you leave this world. And I, I don't know where he went, but uh, God bless his soul. Let's go round train by the see one nation on the group one love. Mark, he said, oh, I caught the, I caught the late, late caboose tonight. Hey, man, I know you did. It's all right, man. As long, as long as you got on the train, you good, man. We got you, man. We got your back, group. We don't, don't come on the train too much, man. So when you come, we're glad to see you. You like the uh, prodigal son. <laughs> oh, one second. You like the prodigal son, man. You've been gone for a long time, but I welcome you back with open arms. Come on home, buddy. We love you. <laughs> Who you got around check? Michael Carpet. He said, Bobby, uh, I recommend after your first booster. COVID-19 vaccine shot within six months after get another booster shot from this. Right. Thanks so much. Very good recommendation. That's what I'm trying to pursue. I have, I've got my first booster uh, in January uh, and I'm trying to pursue another booster. They started in the Philippines. They started giving the second boosters Monday, but it's only started in Manila so far. Eventually the second booster will spread throughout the country. And so when it comes to my city, I'm going to be in the line, baby. Well, every time they say booster, I'm going to say I'm the rooster. <laughs> Give me the buy booster. <laughs> I'm going to get boosted, man. You know what I'm saying? All scientific studies are showing that the more boosters, the more, more boosted you are, the more you are safer when it comes to these uh, variants. And as we look in the society and the world, we're seeing that there are multiple variants out there right now. Recently, my guys, the BA 2.12 variant from Omicron just came into the Philippines. We had one victim, one person that, that was succumbed to it came from Finland. And they came here. When they came in, they had no symptoms. And they came in fine. A few days later, coughing, all that kind of, and they, they, they discovered that she had the BA 2.12. So she got well because the reason why she didn't get deathly ill is because she did what? She was fully vaccinated with her two shots and she was boosted. She, in a few days, she was up and they let her go back to her country. 
Okay. But they we, right now they're in the process of uh, trans, uh, they're trans, tra tracking her, her, her where she went. They're, they're doing the uh, tracking on her, trying to figure out who she came in contact with, tracing, contact tracing. They're doing content, content or tracing on her, on contract, whatever. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to trace her steps to see who she came in contact with and test them out to make sure they get tested as well. But when you're boosted and you're vaccinated fully, you can fight. You can put up a fight against this disease variant. Okay? If you're not, you just you just up a creek. Let's go round chain. Who we got? Crook Morgan. He said, "What does your spirit of discernment say about Mister Dixie? <laughs> about me? About you? Uh, I can't tell you that. Man. Like, I can tell you a lot of things I know about you, man. But I wouldn't do that over the airwaves because it's, it's it, you would you would wouldn't, wouldn't like me telling your business out in the street like that. Okay? Some stuff I know about you." You wouldn't want me to tell nobody, okay? Some stuff I know about you, you would want me to tell, but I don't do that stuff openly, okay? Let's go, Round Train, Friday, Lizzie, one day, you're not a good one, love. Who we got? I can tell you one thing I know you are. Let's go back to Crook. I can tell you one thing, and you probably agree with this. You're a religious man, you're a spiritual man, and you have a love for the Lord, a non, a non shakable, non breakable, non mistakable love strong love for the lord I, I i i know that about you and i know you don't mind me telling that okay let's go uh murphy hey he said it do what it do just like you <laughs> he said man it make it do what it do yeah people call kind of call you uh call your bluff so let's hey let's do it make it do what it do you want to walk let's walk i'll help you walk let's go round chain who we got michael coffee please hey he's about behind covid 19 omicron XB, XB, I thought it was XE. XB virus is still strong in some countries in the world. Please protect yourself against the virus. Well, that's right. Okay, yeah. Uh, you have to protect yourself. Lisa D and I are getting out more, okay? And one of the reasons, and we're letting people come here now, two reasons. Number one, we're boosted and we're fully vaccinated. And the people that we're dealing with, they come here, like you got a nieces here now, they're upstairs, whatever. And uh, mother, mother was here. Everybody's boosted. I mean, everybody's vaccinated. They haven't gotten their boosters yet, but they're vaccinated. So we can take chances uh, like that. But if you haven't gotten boosted, not, we're not now. They're playing their game. And when we go out, we still wear our masks. We wash our hands. We put alcohol in our ears and, and our noses around. You know, still do the stuff. To, to, and we keep watch our distance. You got to do it. The virus, you think the virus is gonna take a vacation? Huh? No, no vacation. You need to take you don't need to take one either. Smooth, he said, uh, hope to be there in August. I, I've been sick a lot in the hospital two times. Oh my goodness. Five seizures? Whoa. And a lot of dizzy spells and back outs, blackouts. But I will get there, okay? Because my heart is there. Okay, man. Um keep praying. Keep doing everything your doctors tell you to do. Take your medication. More importantly, relax your body. Because the reason why you're blacking out and stuff like that, because you're stressing out. You know, your medicine can't help you when you stress out like that. Okay? Calm yourself down. And you're taking too much on you. That's why you're doing this dizziness. That's why you're doing it. You're pushing yourself too much. Relax. Pray. Eat right, sleep right, okay? More importantly, pray right, okay? Let's go, Ryan Train, Bobby Lee, see one nation on the group. What love? Crook Ma, he said, late. Late, my baby. Hey, yeah, man, I know, man. You know, it's all right. Better late than never, right? Right? Let's go. Ryan Train, who we got? Uh, Michael Carr, he said, Bobby, hello. God bless you. Shine all over the guys and me and riding love train today. Keep the faith. Thanks so much, Merch Mike. Hey, man, you need somebody to remind you to stay faithful. Because there's so many negative things that come against us in this world, we can lose our faith. I remember when one of the disciples were walking on the water with Jesus. You remember that? In the Bible, he, he went two steps. And he said, I'm thinking, I'm falling, and I can't get up. <laughs> he fell in the water. Because he didn't. And Jesus said, oh, you have little faith. You know, he didn't have enough faith. If he had faith, he could walk just like Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Don't lose your faith. Keep the faith. Ryan Chan, who we got? Crook. He said, help. 
Hope you feel much better, Smooth Sound. Yeah, y'all pray for Smooth Sound. We've been praying for him for a long time. We will continue to pray for him, that he will remain strong, healthy, wealthy, and peaceful, and that he would pursue his dream of coming to the Philippines. Now, right. Let's go, Ryan Train, by releasing One Nation of Guru, One Love. Perfect. Hey, he said, Filipinos think you're going to fall anytime you stand up. Yeah, man. Uh, that's very true. They, because a lot of, a lot of Filipinos are not um, positive minded. Let's put it like that. And, and the reason why, because if you look at their background, many of them come and come, don't come from a very positive background. They see the negativity every day and it seeps into their psyche. It seeps into their spirit, their mentality. And so they live in a negative frame of mind. Everything is perceived from a negative viewpoint, from a negative vantage. And when you understand that and you deal with one, you got to say, okay, look, I understand where you come from. You have to, it's a teachable moment. You got to teach them to rethink them, reshape them. You know, I, and I, you know, I've taught Lisa D a lot, but sometimes you get a relapse. She had a relapse today. I said, what? I said, you know better. Yeah, you know better. Don't, don't, don't freak out on me like that. But that spirit could have jumped on me. Yeah? And I would have been down. I had to pray hard up them, up them ladder, up them steps on that ladder. Let's go, Roger. Who we got? He said, uh, Murphy, hey, God blessings be upon you, sir. Mike. Thank you so much, sir. Mike. Thank you so much, Murphy. Hey, Ryan Chang, who we got? Pistol Pete in the house. He said, Good to see you, my boy. Hey, good. I mean, I told you about calling me that my boy. <laughs> don't call me no boy. I don't like that, Pete. Call me Bobby. Call me D. Call me Bobby D. But don't call me boy. And don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> Let's go. Ryan Chang, one day. Who we got? Murphy, he said, You're my prayer, some smooth. Yeah, man. We're going to be praying for smooth. We pray from all the time. Ryan Chain, who we got? Murphy, he said, what up, young? <laughs> Don't call him boy. What's up, man? You good? All right, y'all, that's it. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. Y'all know what, man? It's been a blessing for me to speak to y'all today, to reach y'all, to teach y'all. I hope you got something out of this. And I uh, hope you can spread the word. Let somebody know to come on the show, to look at the show. And so uh, get the word out. There's a guy on the air. He want to reach people. He want to teach people. He want to help somebody move up in life. You know, he want to help somebody overcome. That's what life is about. Overcoming. You know, you get, you get stepped on, you get up. You fall down, you get up. Fall, fall down eight, eight times, you get up nine. You know what I'm saying? Keep it moving. And if you have nobody in your life to help you move, to help you get up, then it's going to be hard. And that's where people like me come in. They say, get up, man. Come on. Give me a hand. Let's, let's go. Come on. Come help you up. Let's go. That's what I'm about. Each one, teach one. Each one, reach one. That's it for now, guys. This is Bobby D saying, take care. God bless. And peace.